Welcome to this Acuity presentation on multibody parts in Solid Edge. I'm Cam McCasson. A multibody part is just what it sounds like, a single part or sheet metal part file containing multiple separate bodies. A multibody part can be useful when working with simple rigid assemblies, for example weldments or frames made of dissimilar interlocking components. Multibody parts are especially useful when using a rigid assembly in multiple higher level assemblies, or when you might want to use the family of parts tool to create multiple variants of a rigid assembly. However, multibody parts are probably most often used to represent a purchased assembly as a single part in a top level assembly's parts list. Creating multibody parts is easy. If you want to turn an existing assembly into a multibody part file, first create a new part file, save it with the desired name, then use the part copy command to select the part or assembly file you want to insert into your new multibody part file. By default, copy as design body will be selected. Simply click OK and new design bodies will be added to the part file for each part in the selected assembly. Alternatively, select copy as construction body if you intend to use the part copy as reference geometry for a new design. The first feature you create will also create a design body in the feature tree. Until you create a new design body, any subsequently created features, even completely disconnected features, will be added to the first design body. If you want to create a new design body, regardless of whether or not you have added any part copies, select Add Body from the Solid section of the ribbon bar. Note, if there are no existing design bodies in your file, any existing features will be added to a first design body, and a new design body will be created. All new features will be added to the new body. To switch bodies, just select the desired body from the feature tree. Now I want to quickly walk through working with the multi-body part. There are no assembly constraints in a multi-body part file, so some familiarity with face relationships is important. For this demonstration, I decided to make a little interlocking assembly for these servos. All features, regardless of which body they are associated with, or which body you have selected, will appear in the feature tree, so keeping your feature tree organized is particularly helpful when working with multi-body parts. I generally just create a new feature group for each design body, but you can create as many groups as you want and organize your features however you like. Let's look at how this model behaves with a few relationships to protect design intent and live rules to maintain symmetry. I could of course disable live rules if I wanted to abandon existing symmetry and modify or even remove my other face relationships. First I'll hide my construction bodies and show the existing relationships. I'm just using a few offset relationships to maintain my locking tabs and coplanar relationships to make different body faces together similar to mate assembly constraint. By selecting any face, I can easily modify this whole assembly as if it were a single part. Once you have completed a multi-body part, you can either use the multi-body part in an assembly as is, or use the multi-body publish feature to create individual part files for each body in your assembly as well as an optional assembly file. After using the multi-body publish command, the multi-body publish dialog box indicates which files are out of date with a little clock symbol. Clicking the save files button will update the published files. Here is the assembly created by the multi-body publish feature. Note the construction bodies are not published. This is a new assembly file named robot.asm, which contains an assembly named robotchassis.asm, created by publishing the multi-body part file robotchassis.par. Now let's go through making a simple change to our multi-body part and updating the published assembly. All I have to do is open robotchassis.par, make the desired modification, and republish the part. The published assembly robotchassis.asm in robot.asm will automatically be updated as well. Thank you for watching this presentation. If you have any questions regarding multibody parts or any other aspect of Solid Edge, please contact us via email or phone or leave a comment below.